Eh, Del, hindi kita naririnig. Sorry, everyone. So, thank you, um, Miss Fritzy. I just want to ask our audience, ano nga ba talaga ang beauty? Nakikita ba ito sa ganda ng mata, tangos ng ilong, kulay ng kutis, hugis ng mukha, o korte ng labi, o baka naman sa personality, intelligence, or elegance? Kung tutuusin, mahirap i-pinpoint ang exact meaning ng beauty because it really depends on the eye of the person looking. What may seem beautiful to one person may not be to another, just as there are no hard and fast rules when it comes to appreciating art. Wala rin strict rules when it comes to appreciating a person's beauty. Good afternoon mga kawais talkers. Kayo po ay nanonood ng Wais Talk live dito sa Facebook at YouTube. Naririto na naman po kami and let's be wise and stay beautiful inside and out as we face difficult challenges today. I'm Edel Kutukova, ang inyong kawais talker. Sa society natin, mahalaga ang pagiging maganda o pagpapaganda. Napakaraming beauty makeover books at beauty TV shows sa market at media ngayon. But today, let us not only learn from our wise speakers how to have outer beauty but inner beauty, which is far more valuable in the eyes of God. Remember, inner beauty outlasts outer beauty. I'm Fritzy Uichauco, ang inyong kawais stalker. So before we introduce our speakers, para sa mga first-timers na nanonood ngayon, pag-usapan muna natin, Edel, what is Wais Talk? Ang Wais Talk ay project ng Hey Guy Forerunners at gusto natin makapagbigay ng hope and encouragement, especially during this time na meron pa rin pandemia. Miss Ritzy? Yes, and because our title is Wais Talk, we want to impart wisdom sa inyo mga kawais talkers through our guest na Wais. Marami po kayong matututunan, sigurado. So stick around. Sister Edel, how are you today? Nako, Miss Fritzy, saktong-sakto yung topic natin today. My, my pimples are breaking out and they're all under here. Ayan, I'm, I'm excited kung ano yung mga isha-share sa atin ng ating guests. So, ikaw, Miss Fritzy, kumusta ka? Actually, yan, gustong-gusto ko rin yan kasi hindi ako mahilig mag-makeup or mag-ano, mag-ayos ang sarili. But um, it would be very useful to learn how to put on something para medyo maganda and presentable when we um, meet people. Kasi virtual ngayon, pero yung iba kasing apps walang filter eh, no? Exactly, just like here on StreamYard. Ayan ha, alam niyo na, walang filter ang StreamYard. Kaya natural, yes. Yes, natural. <laughs> Let's, um, wala, huwag na natin paligoy-ligoy yun pa. Miss Fritzy, I would like to introduce, of course, our first um, guest. Our first guest is a consultant, a consultant dermatologist at Makati Medical Center. She is a training officer at Skin and Care Foundation Incorporated. Let us all welcome Dr. Hasmin Hamora. Hello, Edel and Fritzy. It's so nice to be with you today. Uh, actually, I'm also excited to share with you. No? So, yung sa audience natin, just type in the chat box or comment kung may tanong kayo. No? We would love to address it. So, Edel, what would you like to know? Uh, Ako, Doc. Yes, because po... In this time, no, ako mas exposed ako sa ano, eh, ilaw ng monitor ko, ng ring light ko, kesa sa araw. Doc, just in this um, times, how can we keep our skin healthy and glowing? Kasi nga, yeah. pag Yes, actually, um, it's, ano, no, it's hard for all of us. Edel, gusto ko lang sabihin sa audience natin that we're all going through the same thing. no. So, But I would like to give you some tips. And I know Malu and Cherry will also share with you valuable tips later. Let's start with skincare, okay? Skincare through the pandemic. So, first thing is very important, no? Yung skin natin is a reflection of our inner health, okay? So, kung hindi tayo healthy sa loob, yung skin natin makikita ka agad, no? Kung meron siyang pigmentation or hindi siya bright and glowing, you know, talaga may kulang. So, very important first is skincare from within. So, what does that mean? Eat a balanced diet. Alam mo, Edelyn Fritzy, nowadays, Usong-uso na ngayon yung grab food, food panda, ang dami nating ino-order na mga oily foods, mga fast food, delivery foods, foods that are very high in carbs, sugar, and oil. Uh, ngayon, di ba? Because maybe some of us are feeling stressed, nagka-comfort eating tayo. Let's be careful, friends, when we're eating our diet. We want to focus on 
mga plant forward or vegetable forward foods so fruits and vegetables as much as you like and then yung mga processed foods bawas na lang ano so not too much processed foods we want to eat mga fresh like chicken and fish and then uh, le- less red meat and then of course yung sugar talagang yun yung dapat bawasan natin kasi uh, sugar dairy fat salt processed foods this will all trigger our inflammation sa katawan natin no so it can trigger a lot of inflammation. Kaya minsan, pati yung pimples natin nag-break out, no? So maliban dun sa mask ni, we'll talk about mask ni later, we have to be careful with our diet. So eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, drink a lot of water. So half of your body weight in um, in pounds, yun yung dapat na ounces. So kunwari, let's say, let's say mabigat kang tao, no? So almost 200 pounds, wag naman ganon. But you must drink almost 3 liters of water a day. So yun actually yung personal goal ko is, drink a lot of water. So when we drink a lot of water, it's very healthy, no? So we can also avoid mga infection. So we're drinking a lot of water, we're refreshing our mouth, and then we're also flushing out all the toxins from our body, no? So we should really try to uh, go for at least two or three liters of water a day. Next is we have to exercise, no? Although Malu will later talk about exercise, we should really aim to move our bodies 30 minutes, five times a week. Bakit? Kasi yung exercise, we will feel better, not just mentally, but even physically, yung mood natin gaganda. Tapos yung skin natin gaganda kasi pati yung mga toxins mafa-flush out when we are exercising. Pag pinapawisan, okay din yun, di ba? So aside from that, when we exercise, hindi tayo mag-gain ng weight. Kasi when we are obese or overweight, yan, mag-trigger din ng inflammation sa katawan natin yan, ano? So also, have enough sleep and rest. Nako, ang dami ko nakikita ang patients ngayon, especially mga younger patients na mahilig mag-gaming or nagki-k-drama. Nako, nagpupuyat beyond 12 o'clock. Huwag natin gawin yon Because when we sleep before 12 o'clock and if we get 7 to 8 hours of sleep a day, our body will refresh, no? Yung, mga, yung brain natin magre-reset, magre-refresh yan, matatanggal lahat ng toxins sa brain. Tapos pati yung katawan natin magre-restart, no? What happens is when we sleep before 12 o'clock, magsaspurt yung growth hormone natin, no? especially sa mga bata. Kaya totoong sinabi ng mga dati, matulog kayo para tumangkad kayo. So there's actually a spurt of growth hormone that goes before, if we lie down before 12 o'clock. So try to aim for 7 to 8 hours of uh, sleep a day and then avoid smoking, avoid alcohol intake. Bakit? no? So smoking, alam natin, madaming uh, chemicals dun sa smoke and the nicotine is very addictive. So we want to avoid smoking kasi talaga nakakatanda ng skin. The smoke itself has a lot of chemicals that will cause wrinkles, no? So wag tayo mag-smoke. How about alcohol? Let's try to minimize and avoid alcohol intake. Dahil yung alcohol will actually strip the protective lining of our, uh, of our tummy, no? Yung gut natin. Pag strip yung protective mucus layer, madaming pumapasok na infections, chemicals, and toxins into our system, no? So that's why we want to minimize that. And then lastly, we want to minimize stress. Stress tayo lahat ngayon, friends, ano? And uh, we really are feeling it. Hindi lang po kayo. All of us are in this boat together. But I want you to remember that in the boat that we are on now, Jesus is also there, no? So we are there together as friends and as a community and also our Lord Jesus is there. So when we are stressed, I would like to recommend that everyone prays, no? Pray when we wake up at least 5 to 10 minutes and before we sleep, no? I also teach a breathing exercises to all my patients. So itong breathing exercise, pag nasa stress na po tayo, ang tawag sa kanya is 4, 7, and 8. Let's do it together, okay? So what we do is we inhale through our nostrils and we yung chan natin parang balloon. So ang tawag dyan is abdominal breathing. Pag inhale natin through the nose, we count 4 seconds and we inflate our stomach like a balloon. Let's try it. And then we want to hold our breath for 7 seconds at the top. And then when we exhale, we exhale through the mouth and we push our stomach in. Parang lobo din. Okay, let's try it. Inhale. Count to four and then hold for seven seconds. And then we exhale through the mouth and push our stomach in. Eight seconds. So tawag dyan is four, seven, eight breathing, no? Now I want you to add to that when we are doing the breathing exercise, what I do is I tell my patients when we breathe in, Lord Jesus Christ, and you exhale, heal me. Or Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. So we are praying as we are breathing also. No? So it's very important. And we know that our Lord Jesus uh, died on the cross so that all our sickness and suffering, matatanggal yan, no? He really died so that we would be healed. So very important, minimize stress and also pray. 
So that's the inner tips, no? That's care from within. How about taking care of the skin from outside, no? So nowadays, during the pandemic, minsan ang nangyayari is nakakaligdaan natin maligo. Wag, no? Especially pag bata tayo or very oily yung skin natin, we really have to take a bath every day. And sometimes, even though some people natatakot sa pasma, wala naman po kasing pasma, I recommend na near the end of the day, pag nakauwi na po tayo uh, from work or if we're, you know, finished with school, doon tayo maliligo. Parang pumatanggal lahat ng pawis sa katawan because the oil and the pawis, minsan po tinutubuan niya ng amag or fungus, no? So minsan anan, buni, hadhad, alipo nga, nagkakaroon ng ganyan. So yun, take a bath every day, just use a mild soap. Soap, any baby soap is good or non-soap cleanser, okay? And then just pat dry. Ngayon, uh, for people who have dry skin, yung mga may skin as more eczema, maganda maglagay kayo ng lotion after maligo, especially kung medyo dry yung skin nyo. No? So any mild hypoallergenic or fragrance free moisturizer, madami naman po dyan sa market or sa grocery, you can put it immediately after you take a shower, okay? So that's very good. Now, how about uh, for the face? How do we take care of our face, no? Especially ngayon, madaming mask ni. Di ba sinasabi ni Edel kanina, mayroon siyang pimples dito sa gilid. So yung pimples sa bata or acne vulgaris in teenagers, usually ang tawag dyan is T-zone, no? Kasi ito yung pinaka-oily sa face, yung forehead, yung nose, yung chin. So letter T. So yun yung pimples sa bata, usually on the T-zone. Okay lang yan, that's really part of growing up, no? Most of the time, pag hindi masyadong severe. Ito naman, sa babae, tawag nila U-shape, no? Along the jawline. Hormonal usually yan, no? Usually it comes with the periods, ganyan, or hormonal. So yun. Um, and then, ang isa pa is yung O. Diba? Dahil sa mask natin, palaging nakakompress or nakapress dito yung mask. So umiinit yung face natin, nagkakaroon ng compression. So yun yung tawag nilang mask ni, no? Or acne cosmetica. Ngayon, that's okay. Uh, we can, ano naman, just... Wash your face every day with a mild soap or a non-soap cleanser, preferably twice a day. And then you don't really have to tone your skin, no? Unless sobrang dumi niya. You don't really have to put a toner. And also, I would like you to be careful about putting moisturizers, no? Kasi sometimes, the moisturizers, hindi rin siya ganun ka-appropriate. Kung masyadong greasy or oily, tapos malangis na po natin yung, yung face natin, lalo siya magiging greasy and oily, no? Pag ganyan, talaga nakaklog minsan yung pores. So, yun, nagkaka-pimples lalo. So, just be careful about what you're using. On the other hand, kung masyado naman siyang uh, greasy, tapos masyado ka nagtotoner, ang nangyayari naman dyan is masyadong nasistrip yung skin, pwede naman siya ma-irritate, okay? So, just wash your face twice a day, gently, pat dry, and then, um, you know, if you're going out to the sun, just use a, a low um, SPF with an SPF of 45 or lower, kung talagang matindi yung araw, no? Uh, SPF 45 and above, pero kung sa bahay ka lang, nakaharap sa Zoom, sometimes there's what they call blue light, no? May konting ano din yan, may konting effect sa skin. You can just uh, use a low um, SPF moisturizer. So, Edel Fritzy, I think that's it for me for the basic skin skincare tips. Thank you so much, Doc Jazz. Miss Fritzy, do you want to give a feedback? <laughs> Grabe, ang dami kong na-pick up, kaya... I think tamang-tama yung comment ng ating nanonood. Dapat kasi maliligo. Yun lang. Oo, yun na na-pick up niya sa lahat. Dapat kasi maliligo. Okay, that's good. Pero ma- Amen. Thank you so much for that comment, Miss Kat. Ako, ang dami ko rin na- na-take notes ko lahat, ano? And one thing that really uh, strike to me, yung, yung binigyan ni Doc Jazz ng code yung 478 breathing. So we don't have to remember the numbers, but we just have to say, Lord Jesus Christ, heal me. So that's a very, very good um, form of care from within. Lalo na sa mga madalas na kaharap Mabay sa... ako dun, ha? Ako din. <laughs> Lalo na sa mga madalas na kaharap sa kanilang mga computer. Kaya nga, pati yung mga sitting down yoga, yan, pinapatos ko yan, Miss Fritzy, Doc Jazz. Kasi mas madalas ako nakaupo in front of my computer. So later on, Miss Ritzy, we will have questions for Doc Jazz. But for now, um, would you like to introduce uh-huh. our next guest? See you yes. later, Doc Jazz. Oo. Ang ating susunod na speaker naman ay isang managing director ng Modelos Aesthetic and Wellness Center, isang image consultant at 
Image Ignited. Wow! Meron palang ganun, beauty consultant Mary Kay Philippines. She is a professional makeup artist. Let's all welcome Miss Cherry Ramos. Hello, everybody! Hello, Miss yeah, Cherry! I'm so excited, excited to share kung ano man ang aking share pagdating sa kagandahan. <laughs> Yes, Miss Cherry. I personally struggle kasi in putting makeup. Plano nila mag nagmamadali at walang filter. Kung hindi, ano, walang filter yung platform, lagot. So, can you give us practical tips on how to put makeup in mga five minutes? Para kung oh, kakatawag pa lang sa akin eh, maka-adjust naman. Transform ka agad, ano? Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. I'd love to share that. But first and foremost, okay. Let me just run you through yung mga important things to note when it comes to applying makeup. And dami ko na pick up kanina as far as caring for the skin kay Dr. Jazz. I just would, would like to let you know that over the years, no, yung makeup cosmetics natin has evolved into a radiant tool. As I've said, a radiant tool siya for beauty and confidence enhance, enhancement. So, ulitin ko lang ulit, ang makeup is just a, a tool for beauty and confidence enhancement. So it's supposed to just enhance your beauty, not change your entire look, okay? So I believe that even the slightest bit of makeup can help create a more perfected version of yourself. So makeup can help protect your skin. Makeup with unique blend of SPF ingredients. Kasi marami na ngayon, almost lahat ng ating mga makeup ngayon, meron na rin siyang SPF content. Ano? So, um, may mga magagandang makeup na konting lagay mo lang, yung pigmentations niya, solve na, it will just um, be lapat on your face. no? And then, um, yung functional colored cosmetics, no? can be a vital part of a woman's anti-aging and skin cancer prevention arsenal. So it can also help in protecting against the increasing danger of air pollution. So I just would like to ano, um, make you note this one. Makeup helps sustain our youth. At least man lang, no? yung sabi mo nga kanina, mabilisan na... Uh, Pag, ano, pag ayos ng mukha, lalo na pag nagmamadali. Okay? With the right makeup color and blending, one of the greatest benefits of wearing makeup is that it helps you look younger. Makeup, makeup can help conceal yung mga wrinkles, aging spots, and other blemishes. Thus, you will never have to worry about your age showing, especially yun sa mga mahilig mag-selfies. Okay? So wearing makeup... Should be fun and exciting. Wag pa stress. Sabi nga ni Dr. Jess kanina, iwasan ng stress. Okay, it's supposed to be your designated me time. Whether your morning makeup routine takes you 4 minutes or 40 minutes, that time is a time you are spending on yourself. So enjoy lang. This is a way of getting ready physically but also mentally. Now, makeup is a great way to help you express yourself. Whether you're looking for a glamorous look, artistic look, or fierce look, it can be a great way for you to explore which looks best for you. So don't be afraid to experiment on new palettes, foundations, eyebrow designs, and colors. Because makeup, again, is a tool that is seen by many as a form of self-expression. So for today, ayan, sige, tuturuan ko kayo on how to do a simple Five minutes makeup with no makeup look. So, ano nga ba yung mga dapat natin gamitin? So, first, you should have your brushes with you. And then, of course, yung ating mga makeup colors or makeup tools. Okay? So, makeup brushes can turn... If you're gonna be using your makeup brushes, it will turn your makeup to a, a better quality, ano, um, uh, I should say, better lapat on your faces. So, quality brushes improves the final look of your makeup. The makeup application and blending is easier and you'll end up having a smoother, well-done, and more attractive look. Now, if you do not have any brushes, don't worry. Andiyan ang ating mga fingers to help us uh, apply the makeup. So, okay. So, let's start. First, 
you never apply any makeup color on your face without putting a moisturizer. Pero gaya ng um, uh, tip kanina ni Dr. Jazz, wag yung greasy ang piliin niyo, wag yung oily, wag yung type na yon na kind of moisturizer. Go for uh, non-comedogenic and at the same time yung non-greasy uh, moisturizer with SPF na. So how do you put that? Okay, so pea size. Ayan, maga actual ano tayo. Wala ko makeup ngayon sa so maga actual demo tayo. A pea size of your non greasy moisturizer. So five beauty points. Okay, and then using your beauty fingers, which is your tall finger and ring finger, you just apply it evenly on your face. There you go. Ang stroke should be pataas. Okay, gravity, di ba? Ayaw natin ibaba at magsag yung ating faces. So, ang application should be pataas. There. And isama please yung leeg because neck is part of the face. So there, apply it evenly. So what does, habang biniblend ko siya, just remember, moisturizer does two very important things on our faces. So first, it smoothens skin surface for a more even foundation or concealer application. And then second, hydrating the skin, hydrating underneath the skin is important para hindi siya magmukhang dull. Okay? At magiging lapat yung ating makeup. Okay, there you go. So, what's next? We put on our mineral-based foundation. Mineral-based foundation is good to make your skin flawless kaagad. So, pea size lang ulit. Alright, this size. And then, five beauty points ulit. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, with the help of your beauty blender or um, foundation brush, just blend in your foundation sa skin. Pataas din ulit. Okay? Others, mas gusto nila, okay, they recommend, pwede naman, they, they would recommend to be uh, applying the foundation pababa so that the hair follicles will um, be settled at mas magiging siyang flawless. But either ways, ang pinaka-importante is blend it evenly. Again, part of the face is your neck. So, yan. Lagyan yung neck at pagdating sa foundation, lagyan din yung ears, okay? Para hindi magkaiba ang kulay. Right? So, even out ko lang yung aking noo. The eyes, okay? There you go. Tayo na ba? Okay, pagdating sa foundation, choose the right shade for your skin tone. Okay? Kaya lang alam nyo, sa, sa mga Filipinos, mga gusto nila, gusto natin laging maputi, no? So, kahit hindi natin kakula yung iba, they would always go for lighter shade. Tip, basta ang kailangan na shade is your skin tone para mas magmukhang natural. Okay? So, there. I spend time in blending kasi pag ma hindi kagandahan ng pagbe-blend, kahit anong layer ng makeup mo dyan, hindi siya magiging pantay. So, I take time doing this. Okay? Alright. So, next would be your concealer. Important sa akin ang concealer kasi it hides all, all of my, um, like, yan, blemishes. My pimples, yung aking mga eye bugs, okay, yan, yung mga fine lines, an even skin tone. And then, okay, tip sa concealer. So, nila, uh, nilagay ko siya. The way to be, ano, um, blending it is by tapping it. You don't do that, okay, because it's just gonna smudge and at the same time, hindi 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 siya uh, hindi siya lalapat aangat uh, siya so dab 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 that's the technique okay mabilis lang to kahit nga noon nung hindi pa pandemic sa kotse pwede pagka traffic ayan mabilis lang yan ang importante lang sa ano paglalagay ng makeup 
is the technique of how to be applying it. At ang pinaka, ano dyan, sikreto is how you blend it para pantay. Okay? So, there. Okay? Again. So, laging isasali ang leeg. And, tenga para pantay. Okay? So, after your, after your concealer, now we go to kilay. Kilay is life, sabi nga nila. So, you would need a brow pencil or even a brow powder, either. Ang importante lang, okay, here's the technique. So, first, okay, a perfectly, uh, no, a perfectly defined brows help to frame your entire face. And this will help bring out your eyes with or without additional makeup. So, first, Okay, by the way, pro tip, always go lighter in shade. If you try much, if you try to match your brow color exactly to your hair color, you will run the risk of um looking unnatural, which is exactly the opposite of the desired effect. So step 1, place the brush okay along the side of your nose to find you, where your brow should ideally start. So, ako dito yan. I don't know if you're seeing it. Ayan. So, dito ako mag-start. Okay? Ayan. Okay? And then, second, the angle the brush from the outside of your nose to the outer corner of your eye, your eye to find where your brow should ideally end. So, ayan. So, ako dyan. Sa kabila. Dito. Right? And then, um, the end of the brows should be at least 45 degrees angle from the outside of the eye. Okay? So, step three, brush brows. Okay? We're going to be using this spoolie. Brush your brows with a spoolie brush that will help see the shape of what you like on your, your um, uh, brows. So, brushing natin ganyan para yung hair, yung sparse hair natin will settle. Okay? There you go. And now, what we're gonna be doing is either you're using your brow pencil or your brow uh, powder. Try to fill in the spaces dun sa inyong brows. Okay? Yan. So, I'll just fill in yung mga bungi o yung mga kalbo sa aking kilay. And the other one. Alright. Now, tandaan nyo po, walang kilay na pantay. Okay? Kahit ang mga mukha natin, hindi pantay yan. So, yeah, yung paglalagay natin ng brows, ang intention nito is to make it as even as possible. But then, okay, pag masyado naman even, wag yung mukha naman fake. So, we'd still go for a natural look. And then, after filling it out, yung mga, yung mga uh, kalbong part, just brush it. Okay? Okay na ba? Ayan. And then, just clean it with your sponge para mas mukhang defined. Alright? So, there you go. Okay. Diba, sabi nila, kahit nakakilay ka tsaka nakalipstick ka, okay na yon. Okay. Next, what do we do? We put on our eye color. Now, eye, eye shadow can do wonders for giving life to the eyes, depending on the color choice that you use. Ako, pagka-everyday use, I only use matte, okay, yung lapat siya sa mukha. But, ang question kanina, pagka nagmamadali sa zoom and all, I would prefer using something with, ano, with uh, glitters or shimmer. Kasi it adds, um, it adds uh, life pagdating sa camera. So, ngayon, since naka-zoom tayo, I would do a shimmer, ano, uh, shade and blending sa aking eyes. So, dyan. I'm gonna use my favorite color. Yung pa tweetums lang. Pink lang. Yan. Light pink lang. And since 
basic makeup lang to, one shade lang, okay, ang ating ilalagay. So, blend, 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 blend lang. Gently. Huwag nating panggigilan ang ating mga mata from inner corner to outer corner and then blend from outer corner to inner corner. Pabalik-balik lang siya para maglapat. Especially kung hindi kayo hindi talaga kayo marunong kung okay, ganitong stroke lang, ayan na, o di ba? Nagkakulay na at nagkaroon na ng buhay ang aking mga mata. Okay, so okay na ako dyan. Basta may kulay at bumuka ang aking mata, solve na tayo dyan. So what's next? Mascara. Ito ang hindi mawawala sa aking makeup regimen. Kasi lalo na pagka hindi ako nag-glasses. Uh, okay. Mascara instantly adds thickness, length, and darker color to the lashes. Which um, creates definition to the eyes. So, I'm gonna put it na. Okay, tip. When you're applying your mascaras, open your mouth para less flicker sa eyes. Okay? So, from outer to inner corner of the eye or lashes, open the mouth. Sige lang, para hindi mag-flicker. Okay? From outer to inner. Outer to inner. Outer to inner. Outer to inner. Tip. Kesa, ano, magpagawa kayo ng mga fake lashes, kung gusto ninyo ng uh, pamaypay na uh, lashes, ang application is at least four. Kung kaya nyo. Kaya alam, medyo mabigat, ano? Pero, let it dry. Pag in-apply nyo ng una, let it dry. And then, apply ulit. Second coat, let it dry. Third coat, and then fourth coat. Kung hanggang-hanggang kaya ng mata ninyo, sige, para mas lalong humaba at maging thick yung lashes. So, I'm done with my mascaras. Next would be ang ating lipstick. Okay, lipstick defines our lips and brightens our smile, provided we choose the right color. Now, wearing lipstick can complete your look, whether setting it to um, parang... Uh, everyday look lang, or for a sexy date, o diba? or professional look. It depends. But ako, uh, here's the tip. Uh, the um, not so young we are, mas maganda kung lighter shade siya. Okay? So, tandaan natin yan. And then, okay, I'm gonna put on my lipstick. Okay, gagamitin ko ang aking uh, ring finger. I'll start from the lower lip and to my upper lip. Alam niyo ba na ang cream lipstick can also be used as eye color and cheek color kung nagmamadali kayo? So, ito siya. Kapunasan ko lang yung aking daliri. So, sa eye, pwede din siya. Dab, 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 dab lang. Tipid, de ba? Three in one ang ating mga cream lipstick. And then, for our cheek color, dab, dab, dab lang din yung smile. And then, Dab, dab, dab nyo lang. O, di ba? Okay. There you go. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. And lastly, okay, para magpantay-pantay lahat itong aking mga nilagay, the way to finish off my entire look is I'm going to be using a powder, pressed powder ang ginagamit ko. So, what to do? Dab, 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 tap, tap, tap para maalis yung excess powder. And then you go, dab it on your face para to settle all the makeup, foundations, colors that you applied. So, ayan, dab, dab, dab. Mineral powder foundation brings out a natural light finish sa nilagay natin. Okay? And it can also fix yung mga maling na ilagay ninyo. Kung may naglampas-lampas, okay, this is gonna help. Okay, erase. Okay? And then, it also helps uh, the makeup last longer. So, again, pakisali ang ating leeg. Okay, para magpantay. Right? There we go. Okay. So, I'm done. I'm good. Okay? This is my final look. Ayan. So, yeah, I'll bring back the floor to you. 
Thank you. Wow. Ang dami kong natutunan doon ah. Actually, dala-dala ko yung ano ko, eh, sinusukat ko. Nako, sumobra. Tao <laughs> ko mulang, ano? Galeg. Galeg. Love it. Yes, transformation ka agad. Ay. Thank you, Miss Cherry, no? Grabe, yeah, nakapag-make up si Miss Cherry right in front of us, Miss Fritzy. <laughs> okay. Oh. I also like what yung comment ni Miss Cess kanina, no? I love it. Sabi niya, to open pala the mouth kapag, or smile, and open yes. the mouth pag nag eyelash Gusto ko naman yung nagsismile pala pag nagpupunt ng blush on, kasi ako nakaganyan lang ako. Hindi <laughs> ko alam yes, Enjoy your time putting on makeup. Yes, thank you so much, Miss um, uh, Miss Cherry. And later yeah. on, we will bring you back again for the questions that we have. And of course, live questions. So to our audience who are watching right now, put on your questions on the comment box. And we will try our best to put um, na matanong natin yon in the uh, short time that we have right now. See you later again, Miss Cherry. Ayan. So before we before we proceed to our um, last guest or last speaker, we would like to say hello to our yes. Facebook likers. We have Miss Jesslyn Ostrowa. Hi, Queenie, Sharon, Mark, um, Nessie, Nessie, Andy, and Joshua. And those who gave their Facebook heart react, si Liza, si Let, si Maru, Sales, ni Pomoseno, Minerva, Bernadette, Virginia, and Rica. And hi to Jesslyn Moldes, Ochoa, and Edgar Morada. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we Sana marami have... kayong ano, napipick up dito. Yes, Miss Fritzi, I would like to also say hello. We have a lot of comments right now. Um, we have from Angie, Ter, of course, Attorney Let is here with us, Maru, and sis, Miss Kat. Okay, hi, Zyra, um, Frances. And there's really a lot of Miss Virginia. At hindi lang babae, ha? Pati lalaki nakikinig dito. So, mamaya meron silang mga katanungan na ibinato para sa ating panelists. Yes, yes, Miss Fritzi. So, I hope you're enjoying our program this afternoon. And, of course, ang ating third guest. Hold on pa, no? Meron pa tayong third guest. Um, our third guest is the best-selling author of Ikaw Na Ang Maganda, books 1, 2, and 3. And she is also um, a counselor and inspirational speaker. She is a radio, TV, and webcast host. And, of course, she's the one who spearheaded Wa Is Talk, Let Me Call On. Miss Malu Chongson Artis. Hello, Sis Malu. Hi, hello, good afternoon, hello. everyone. Yes, and dami ko rin natututunan from our speakers. Hello, Sis Malu. Um, just like what I've said no, in our introduction to you, you are a best-selling author of a three-part book, which is Ikaw Na Ang Maganda. Would you like to give our viewers uh, a quick um, background or summary or something that they could um, expect from those books. Says Malu. Okay, yeah. Sige. So today, um, dear friends, no, hello mga kawaii stalkers. Uh, I'm sure you're watching right now kasi I guess dahil gusto nyo rin malaman kung paano ba bang magpaganda. And we've heard from our speakers, Dr. Jasmine Namora and Cherry Ramos, how to care for the skin and enhance our beauty. Ngayon naman, let me share with you how we can have a lasting inner beauty, no? Kanina, outer. Ngayon, inner naman. And I'm not speaking naman because I'm an expert pagdating sa inner, but let me just share with you yung aking personal experience na, you know, I uh, I tried everything na magpaganda, no? Um, Nag-gym ako, nag-enroll pa ako sa, uh, ano, sa, um, nag-aral ako ng makeup sa Frank Provo, no? Kasi I really want to look beautiful. Because, you know, I, I was always going through uh, problems in my marriage and, you know, I've been separated for 15 years. Ang tanong ko nga, lagi kong tinatanong, Lord, bakit? Eh, hindi naman ako pangit. Di na, may mabait naman ako. So, bakit nga ba? You know, why am I always going through these uh, problems in my relationship with my husband, no? So, yeah, so, but, you know, it was during that season of my life that, you know, when I was alone, yung nag-iisa ako, 
maraming nireveal sa akin ng Panginoon and areas where I needed to improve on. Na hindi pala importante lahat-lahat ang pagpapaganda. Kailangan maging maganda inside. Inside and out. Kasi pag maganda inside, it will radiate outside. No? So you see, who I who was Malu Ortiz before? You know, she I used to be very suplada, snub nga kung tawagin sa akin. Ganun nga yung description sa akin ng mga tao. Pag ganun, snub, yan. Mataas ang tingin sa sarili. And I always wanted to to prove something to people, you know, through my career, through my business, yung sa aking possessions, yung aking mga abilities, no? And I thought all of this could, you know, feel the emptiness that I felt inside. But, you know, I... I was always looking at my husband na expecting him to meet all my needs, my needs, di ba? So, pero, I mean, you know, how, even when I entered into that marriage, no, lahat po tayo, we have our own excess baggage, no? Meron tayong mga issues, personal issues na minana natin sa parents natin, how, kung paano tayo pinalaki. Ang dami nating mga dala-dala when we entered into their marriage and I was expecting my husband to change me or or i was expecting him to give me uh, you know a solution uh, to to make me happy pero um, I, i realized nung nung time nga na nagkahiwalay ako ang dami ko pa lang kailangan pa lang i-deal sa akin sarili so as i went through this journey let me share with you the lessons i've learned and ito po yung ano uh, overview ng libro kong ang ang diary ng ay, hindi, hindi ang diary ng legal wife. Uh, ikaw nang maganda, how to be beautiful inside and out. no? So what are the lessons that I've learned? Number one, may yung, kaya pala yun yung feeling ko was, you, there were psychological reasons why I want I was acting that way. I was trying to prove myself. Because I want, number, one, number one, nang need natin mga wives, even men, no? uh, may mga men tayong nanonood ngayon, ang need natin really is to belong. We want to feel loved. We want to be uh, respected. We want to be praised. You know, we want to feel important. So um, I wanted to be uh, attractive because I wanted to have a partner, di ba? Gusto natin magpaganda dahil maging attractive tayo sa opposite sex. And then I wanted to feel good about myself, di ba? Siyempre, iba rin naman yung confidence natin when we know that we are uh, doing something about beautifying ourselves it does help boost our self annoying i think self worth then it um yeah we it, it has an edge you know pag tayo po ay nagpapaganda na realize ko na mas madali ka makakuha ng trabaho kahit na equally ano ka capable ka doon sa may, maybe dalawa kayong nag-apply sa job pero pagka mas maganda ang beauty mas may edge eh, di ba mas pipili i mean that's the reality yun ang mundo talaga eh mas pipiliin natin minsan ng, lalo na sa sales mas pinipili ang mas may itsura, no? And then, of course, when we are nagpapaganda, mas may chance kang makuha mo yung yung pogi rin na boyfriend or even the husband, no? And even sometimes, you even end up with the rich husband dahil ikaw yung mas maganda, no? So these are the realities that I realized, no? Na part talaga ng mundo yan, eh. Nangyayari talaga yan, eh. Uh, and then, about our self-worth naman, how do we base our self-worth ba? So I think naging problem ko, I based my self-worth sa, sa looks ko, you know, kasi feeling ko, yun nga, hindi naman ako pangit, no? Uh, kailangan ko lang ng konting enhance yung aking beauty, no? And I also, we also want to base our self-worth sa ating accomplishments, di ba? Pagka medyo uh, CEO ako ng company, kahit hindi ako ganun kagandahan, pero pag ako ang may pera, di ba? Pag tayo ay nakakaangat in terms of our career, it does, you know, boost our self-worth, no? Pag, maganda, pag marami rin tayong possessions, no? Pag meron tayong Hermes na bag or meron tayong Louis Vuitton, pag naglalakad tayo, eh, iba yung confidence, di ba? Kahit naka-t-shirt lang at saka butas na jeans, pero ang bag ay maganda, LV, or ayan na nga, uh, baka Christian Dior or whatever, Uh, it does somehow increase, no? Nabubust talaga yung ating self-worth. And then yung what people say about us. Ito, I think it's very important kasi no matter how beautiful you are, how beautiful you think you are, when somebody tells you na, ba't kanyang suit mo? Eh, ba't may pimple ka? Ba't kanyang ano mo, yung, yung damit mo hindi yata bagay sa'yo? 
anything that is said negative about us, bumabagsak yung tingin natin sa sarili natin. No? So, we we base our self-worth on all of these factors, di ba? So now, ito pa isa pang natutunan ko, no? Ano, ano nga ba? What really makes us unattractive? Kasi minsan, feeling naman natin, hindi naman ako pangit. Pero bakit hindi ako, how come even my own husband is not attracted, probably not attracted to me anymore? Or maybe if you're single, how come, you know, parang, Maganda naman ako pero baka kulang ng dating, 'di ba? May mga iba naman parang kulang ng ano yung tawag nila na merong um merong basta meron siyang it, no? May it factor, 'di ba? Pero what really makes us unattractive? You know, these are the things that I learned, no? Yung mga common traits ng women that makes us ugly. Ano-ano 'yan? Envy, jealousy, mako mga ladies kayo ba ay ano selosa or ingitera? Kayo ba ay malisyosa? Mahilig mag-chismis, no? Do you know that uh, by being chismis, sometimes we feel na in ka? Kasi may juicy tong kwento ko, di ba? We feel na mas natatanggap tayo ng mga friends natin when we have something exciting to share. Pero you know, uh, when you gossip, it actually makes you ugly. And sometimes people will stay away from you kasi natatakot sila baka next time sila naman ipag-chismisan mo, no? So, kasama dyan yung kaduktong dyan, yung slanderer, yung paninira ng tao. Um, sometimes, you know, our tongue, we, we we use it loosely. We say things that maybe we don't even uh, intend to hurt somebody. Pero dahil, sometimes careless lang tayo talaga, no? And we can slander or gossip about somebody else, no? It's very dangerous kasi you're also making it seem like you're better than the other person. So, yung pride, naku, sabi nga nila, pride, yun na nga lang ang meron ako, kukunin pa sa akin. Pero sa totoo lang, pride is a sin, no? And uh, sometimes it really destroys relationship when somebody is prideful, no? Yung mali na ayaw pang mag-sorry, yung uh, ayaw mag-initiate, yung, yung nagsosorry na yung tao sa kanya, ayaw pa rin batiin dahil full of pride, no? And arrogant and boastful, mayabang, Um, akala mo kung sino ang taas ng tingin sa sarili no and these are these are just really common traits sa atin no pag pagka tayo ay hindi aware of our you know yung mga sabi nga nila subtle sins they're very subtle hindi halata pero the people around us who are very close to us nakikilala nila tayo sumisingaw po yan it's just like body odor you don't maybe smell yourself but the people around you can smell the ugliness in you no yung vanity yung panay selfie selfie paganda ng paganda pa beauty ng pa beauty hindi po mali magpaganda um uh, it's okay you know kailangan natin yan pang boost ng ating self worth but when it becomes all about ourselves na it's all about me i me myself no dangerous po yan baka maging narcissistic na po tayo Uh, uh, disorder na po yan. Naku, mahirap pong gamutin yan. Sabi nga nila, scientifically or psychologically, narcissism cannot be healed. It cannot be treated, no? Yung being needy. I don't know with, you know, there's women talaga na, uh, some women can be so needy. Yung kailangan mag-depend lagi on somebody. And so when we are too needy to our husband or to our boyfriend, minsan, na choke na sila, nasasakal na sila sa atin. Yung minsan gusto ka rin nila yung may konting independence din naman tayo. I-notice man tayo mga ladies, no? Pag sinabing, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, samahan mo ko, gusto mo sabay tayo. And then sasabihin isa, oh sige ako na rin, sasabay. Parang kailangan tayo sama-sama-sama lagi. And, and there's this ano, and we pass it on to our partners din, di ba? And men don't actually like it when we are too... Uh, dependent on them. Dapat balance din, no? So, ito pa, nako, mga ladies, ito, isa sa mga tinuro sa akin talaga ng Panginoon. To, yung becoming, when we are too domineering, controlling, and manipulative. Nako, ito yung tinatawag nilang Jezebel spirit. In the Bible, there's this woman, si Jezebel, very controlling and very manipulative sa kanyang, sa kanyang asawa na hari, no? Uh, meron hari pero actually she was the queen behind you know all the control and the manipulating 
So this is very common sa ating mga babae. Hindi natin masyadong napapansin, but you know, our spouses, our boyfriends, our loved ones, our parents, our children, alam nila yan, nafe-feel nila yan. No? And it, it just really turns them off. So being disrespectful also, nako, nako, ladies, do you know that one of the top needs of a man is respect? So tayo dapat ang nagbibigay sa kanila ng respect na yan. But most of the time, tayo yung nagdi-disrespect. How do we disrespect men? Nako, ito yung nagpapapangit sa atin mga ladies. Yung mga rolling of eyes. Ay, nako, ay, nako, yan. Or mga talk to the wall, silent treatment. O kaya yung mga ano, uh, we disregard yung mga sinasabi nila. We over, in ano natin, uh, yung, we disobey them. Yung mga sinasabi nila, dinidisregard natin. Or we overrule yung mga decisions nila. Dineside na nila, pero ayaw pa rin natin sundin. Pinipilit natin yung gusto natin. No? So, these are some traits that I learned na all throughout that journey na, you know, I, I could be like this eh. Siguro ito pala yung mga ayaw sa akin ng asawa ko, no? So, being egoistic, it's all about I, me, myself. Too much selfie, too much... Uh, when you talk to your friends, you're always talking about yourself, your accomplishments. Alam mo, eh, sino yung mga friends mong, mga amigang mong, maka, mga, uh, you know, nakakataas or maybe somebody popular. And it's always all about yourself. I, me, myself. Let's just be careful, mga ladies. Kasi that is really a turn off to anybody, not just for men, even to our friends. We're, we're always talking about ourselves. Hypocrisy, napaka-hypocrite, no? Ang bait-bait sa labas, ang bait-bait sa friends. Pero pagdating na sa family, you know, inside the house, who can really tell who is a, a, who who we are? It's our loved ones. Yung kasama natin sa bahay, mga kasambay natin, mga anak natin, sila'y nakakaalam talaga, you know? And we can learn uh, from this Bible character, si Queen Vashti. You know, in, in the book of Esther, no, there was this queen. Ang ganda-ganda niya. Tinatawag siya ng hari. Tawagin ang aking queen. Gusto i-display sa kanyang mga friends. Sa kanyang, there was this party and he, he wanted to display his queen. Pero si queen hindi sumunod. Ayaw. Ayaw pumunta. So, you know, so he, the king became very angry and his wrath burned within him. So, what are we learning from Queen Vashti? Dinis obey niya. Ang order ni Queen King Cerses, hindi niya ni respect, and she was banished. Banished forever from the presence of the king. Hiniwalayan siya ng king. And so these are, you know, these are stories in the Bible that we can learn from. Pag hindi tayo nag-respect sa ating asawa, maybe yan ang maging dahilan na hiwalayan tayo. No? So even with boyfriends, you know, because men are to be leaders. Leaders sila eh. So pag hindi natin binigay sa kanila yung katungkulan nila bilang leader, tayo nagte-take over, nagkakaroon ng reversal of roles. Then uh, they we make them feel um, belittled or uh, hindi na sila needed. Kaya minsan tataka tayo, bakit ako pinagpalit sa sekretarya? Bakit ako pinagpalit sa somebody na uh, maybe masahista? Wait, why? Because these people serve them. Pag nagbigay sa kanila ng kape, baka may smiley face pa siya. Eh, baka pagdating sa atin sa bahay, eh, ano, uh, nakasimango tayo, hindi tayo mautusan, no? mareklamo tayo. No? And we can also learn from Michael who disobeyed King David. No? Michael is another story in the Bible na nung sumasayaw si King David, kasi ang saya-saya niya, no? uh, sabi ni Michael sa kanya, bakit ka nakiksama dyan sa mga mabababang tao, you know, the ordinary people, hindi ka bagay dyan, hari ka. And because she disrespected, you know what was the consequence of her disrespecting her husband was she was childless her entire life no so may mga consequences po tayo pag when we are not um respecting our men no so kung boyfriend niyo pa lang sila umpisahan niyo na po practice niyo na po paano magrespeto kasi kailangan po nila yan no and i want to share with you this bible verse no in first peter chapter 3 verse 3 to 4 it says, your beauty should not come from uh, your outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle, quiet spirit, 
which is of great worth in God's sight. So it's not really about the clothes that we wear, the jewelry that we have on. It's not the Hermes bag, no? It's not the colored hair. It's it's really about having a gentle, kind spirit. Yung, yung nasa loob na sumisingaw as we uh, have build relationship with our loved ones, sisingaw yung beauty na yan, the inner beauty na hindi maitago, no? And also, um, what does it mean ba to have a gentle, kind spirit? Ito po yung, ano eh, yung by being humble, yung meek ka, hindi, yung hindi ka naman weak, no? Yung, yung hindi ka malakas ang dating, hindi ka uh, nag insist on what you want, no? You just uh, respect people, you know, you uh, mahinahong ka magsalita, no? So you have an immense love for people. You don't stir up arguments. You don't start arguments. You don't uh, initiate quarrels with your spouse, no? So you don't fight anger with anger, no? Yan po yung pagiging gentle and quiet spirit. Meron pang isang Bible verse, no? Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. In Romans 12 verse 2, no, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Kailangan magkaroon tayong renewing of mind. Ang problem natin, mga ladies, we want to be the way we are. Kasi we feel na if we change plastic tayo, hindi po totoo yun. Because God wants us to to keep changing for the better. He keeps elevating us to the next level. Paganda tayo dapat ng paganda inside and out. No, So okay lang po magbago, hindi po yan pagiging plastic. And when we renew our minds, it means you align yourself with God's will for your life. Hindi natin pipilit kung anong gusto natin. Lagi yung, Lord, anong gusto mo? Uh, ito ba yung gusto mo para sa akin? Ito ba yung gusto mong gawin ko? So do not conform with the ways of the world kasi ang mundo will always say na fight for your rights. Uh, whatever makes you happy, do it. No, Kailangan po align din sa Panginoon kasi even if it's gonna make you happy, Kung ito naman po ay kasalanan, nako, sisters, ladies, even mga mga men who are watching right now, when there is sin, it makes us ugly. No? No matter how beautiful you are, when we have sin inside, sisingaw po yan. Kaya minsan nakikita natin, bakit ang ganda nito, pero itong lady na to, ang ganda-ganda niya. Pero the moment she speaks, parang it just pushes you away. Kasi there's something heavy about her. No, yung mga words that come out her, of her mouth, hindi maganda. Maybe nagmumura. Mabigat, mabigat kasama. So we have to have a renewing of mind. No? Kailangan didiklutter natin yung ating mga thoughts at saka yung mga emotions. Kaya very careful din tayo sa ano yung mga pinapanood natin. Kailangan yung mga pinapanood natin hindi yung mga uh, violent or it's too, uh, too sexual or maybe... Uh, baka masyadong ano um, you know yung baka mahawa tayo dun sa mga characters ng mga pinapanood natin so what really makes us beautiful inside and out and there's this ver- uh, bible verse again no sa bakit ko kinu-quote ang bible verse kasi yan naman ang source natin eh dapat diyan nang gagaling lahat ng ating wisdom kaya nga tayo wise talk no we get wisdom not from men but from god so it says here, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Ito po, mga friends, mga kawais talkers, ito po yung magpapaganda sa atin. We have to have the love, the love of God. So sabi nga nila, ito yung gasgas na na Bible verse, di ba? Pag, pag kinakasal, in 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy. It does not boast. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Diba? Ito po yung mga dapat nating ina-apply sa life natin. <coughs> Excuse me. Huwag <coughs> po tayo yung <coughs> panay basa lang ng basa pero <coughs> walang action. <coughs> Kailangan may action din. Okay, so when when you talk about unconditional love, ta, tayo dapat nagmamahal. Hindi lang para hindi para sa sarili but for others, no? So it is the highest form of love. 
paano nga ba magmahal ng unconditional? Kasi naturally po tayo, we love ourselves. And for us to love another person unconditionally, or even to love an unlovable person, kailangan yung love ng Panginoon ang nasa atin. We receive the love of God, and when He gives it to us, then we now have love to give to others. Merong source. Kung galing lang sa atin, maiinti po tayo. Kaya nga diba sinasabi nila, tuyong-tuyo na ako, wala na akong maibibigay talagang pagmamahal. Because if it is from us, mauubusan po tayo talaga. So love should come from the source. Who is God? The source of love himself. No? Yung joy, hindi yan ang gagaling sa happiness. Yung happiness kasi galing yan sa happening. Diba? Temporary lang yan. Pero yung joy, it comes from within it. It's a gift from the Lord, no? As we receive God, He gives us love and He also gives us the joy. Nagkakaroon tayo ng joy to, uh, in, in, even in different difficult situations, kahit na may pandemic, kahit na may COVID, no? I can sleep with joy and with peace. Kaduktong na rin dyan yung peace. The peace that, you know, transcends all understanding. Sabi nga sa Philippians 4.7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made to, made known to God. So, let's not be anxious during, during this time of pandemic. Kailangan meron tayong joy, may peace, pero kailangan manggaling sa Panginoon. So, later, I will tell you how we can have love, joy, and peace. No, um, Meron din tayong patience. No, saan ba nagagaling yung patience niya? Sa Panginoon din yan. Hindi, na, hindi tayo patient on ourselves. We're very impatient. No? So being patient is being able to withstand trials. Able to wait on the Lord. No? Hindi natin pangungunahan ng Panginoon. Handa tayo mag-antay. Kung anong plano mo, Lord, maybe may single dyan, gustong gusto na mag-asawa. Lord, bigyan mo ako ng poging mapapangasawa, yung mabait. Ang dami nating qualities na hinahanap. But if we are not patient to wait on the Lord, baka yung makuha natin, eh, we'll settle for somebody kahit na hindi na sumaswak doon sa ating mga, mga qualities na hinahanap, no? Kasi we cannot wait. So let's not, let's not, ano, let's not fret and let's just be patient. And again, itong time of pandemic, ito yata tayo talagang tinetest ni God. It's really now our time to practice kindness, goodness, gentleness, no? Ito po yung time na magpakita po tayo ng ng uh, concern sa mga ibang tao uh, especially at you know during this time that people are dying uh, people are getting sick no it's really our time to reach out spend time with them to pray for them to show kindness send food or maybe some send some financial uh, um, financial uh, uh, love gift no kasi minsan kailangan din yan eh no kasama yan no So it's being also faithful, no? Lahat ito qualities po ng fruit of the spirit, no? Being faithful. Faithful tayo sa Panginoon. Faithful tayo sa mga loved ones natin. Whatever we say, gagampanan natin 'yan. Hindi tayo yung uh, panay salita pero walang gawa, no? Uh, we have to honor whatever we say, no? So being faithful, being reliable, being steadfast, no? Being loyal, dedicated and devoted kailangan tunay tayo, tutuo tayo sa ating mga loved ones, no? Okay, and finally, of course, we have to have self-control, no? Ngayon, ngayong pandemic, kailangan may self-control. Self-control sa ating mga shopping, self-control sa ating mga words, no? Yung mga impatience natin, you know, when we are getting so frustrated, anxious tayo, let's practice self-control, no? Okay, so... Um, Ayoko nang patagalin, pero before I end, I just want to, ang dami ko pang gustong sabihin, but maybe in uh, you can watch our other episodes in Why is Talk, no? where we can really uh, focus on every topic that I mentioned today. But before I end, I just want to share with you, no, na, you know, on our own, we cannot change. The only way we can change and become beautiful inside and out is when we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, no? Because we have to go back to the cross. Kailangan natin matandaan muna. Habang nandito tayo sa mundo, talagang lahat ng kapangitan na sa atin because we have an enemy who came to steal, kill, and destroy. 
Gusto niyang wasakin tayo. Gusto niya pangit tayo. Gusto niya pangit ugali natin. But Jesus came that we may have life. Life to the fullest, no? So what we need to do really is to have Jesus inside our hearts. Because He's the one who died for our sins, no? So tayo, siya lang ang pwedeng magpabago sa atin. Siya lang yung pwedeng mag-forgive ng ating mga kasalanan. So if you are that person, and maybe it's your first time to watch Why is Talk. Maybe it's your first time to hear this, no? Maybe I'm struggling. Lord, gusto ko na magbagong ugali. Yung asawa ko, iniwan ako, pangit na ugali ko. Lord, bakit hindi, walang magkagusto sa akong lalaki? Let's check ourselves. Baka mayroong pangit nga sa atin inside. Na reflect on those traits that I mentioned earlier. And if that's you, and you want to surrender your life to Jesus, Lord, gusto ko na talaga magbagong ugali. Gusto ko na to have this relationship with you. To have a renewed renewed mind na to to yung lumang malu lord maging bago ng malu so just pray with me just say this simple prayer sabayan niyo po ako dear lord jesus i admit that i am a sinner makasalanan po ako ang daming pong pangit na ugali sa akin that i want you lord to change and i cannot change without your help please forgive me for all the wrong that i have done Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I now open my heart and invite you to come in and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your free gift of eternal life. And from this day on, I will put my trust in you. Change me and make me the woman and man that you want me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So if that's you and you pray that sincerely from your heart, Congratulations, because now Jesus lives inside your heart and He's promised that He will never leave you nor forsake you. And the Holy Spirit now in, will indwell in you and will guide you and will tell you at iko, siya yung magsasabi sa atin ano yung mga areas where we need to improve on. And trust me, if you will obey and turn away from sin, trust me, you will never be the same person again. So back to you, Sis Edel and Sis Fritzy. Wow. Amen. Talagang gustong-gusto ko yung mga ang daming um, sinare ni Malu. Hindi naman siya, hindi naman lahat bago, pero nakita natin na um, kailangan talagang yung love ni God ang matanggap natin para may maibigay tayo kahit na unlovable. Kasi ang gusto ni Lord paganda lang tayo ng paganda at hindi, yan yung mga napulot ko, no? At hindi plastic ang magbago. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Fritzy. Ako naman yung takeaway ko talaga dun is yung what makes us ugly. If we know what makes us ugly kasi then we will avoid those, di ba? And we will stay beautiful in the eyes of God. Sis Malu, thank you so much for Um, all those sharing, I know that yung mga viewers natin themselves have picked up a lot, no? Napakaraming sharings from you as well. And wag na natin patagalin. I would, we would like to bring in again um, Doc Jazz and Miss Cherry to join us in the next part of our program is Q&A. And kanina marami na tayo mga nakitang live questions. Miss Fritzy, would you like to give our first question to our guest? Yes. Kay Doc Jazz. Ah, uh, dahil sa daming mga ano no, mga comments at saka mga questions, gusto ko nang simulan na ang tanong niya, pwede bang i-consider na raw po Doc Jazz na ang paglilinis ng bahay at laba ay exercise. Yes, absolutely, Fritz and Edel, no? Anything that raises your heart rate, so when we're lifting, when we're exerting effort, maganda na pong exercise yun, no? That's very good, no? So anything that raises our heart rate up to a certain level within the proper, ano, no? Sa age nyo, maganda po yun. So sustain that for 30 minutes. So maganda yun, malinis yung bahay nyo, maganda pa yung katawan nyo. So I highly recommend. Pwede na po yun. Yes. So sa skin, oo, Sorry, yeah. So, sa skin daw, nagsasabay tayo. Go ahead, Fritz. Okay, sa skin daw, um, ano daw yung good toner? So, an, tapos ano yung, iduktong ko na yun, ano yung sequence ng, ano ba yun, toner, sunscreen, moisturizer, serum, ganun ba yun? 
Okay, so with regards to toner, if you're not naman super oily or sobrang nadumihan ng grasa ng face nyo, it's not really necessary, you know, because a lot of times it can really strip the skin, ano? So I just recommend, you can use yung parang micellar water. Pwede na po yun. Uh, we can ask Cherry about it later, no? But you can just use a mild non-soap cleanser and then you can use the micellar water to to cleanse the face and also yun na lang po yung magandang toner kasi wala siyang mga harsh ingredients, no? Because some of the older toners, meron siya mga acids that are quite too harsh on the face. So yes, wash your face with a mild soap. Uh, just remove that grease, pat dry. And you know, sometimes if you need to go out, the moisturizer, like Cherry talked about, yung mga functional cosmetics, pwede na po yun, no? When we go out, it's just a light uh, light sunscreen in the morning. That's more than enough to moisturize our face, no? Because we live in the tropics, so medyo humid dito. So wag natin masyadong dagdagan ng mga greasy, heavy uh, creams. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you so much, Doc Jess. Balikan ko si Doc Jess mamaya. Our next question is for Miss Cherry. Miss Cherry, um, gusto ko lang itanong, no? Because now, uso, usong-uso nga yung filters on yung mga, mga um, online meetings, like that, right? And there's a platform where there is already a filter. But for those who are not using those kind of platforms to may filter, Importante, importante rin ba yung contouring, especially for those who go live, yung mga gumagawa ng vlog, the content editors? Okay. <laughs> contouring talaga, no? Actually, ang contouring, ginagamit siya. This is a technique for ano, sculpting and adding dimensions to your face by using makeup. So, hindi, non-surgical siya. So, it's slightly darker or larger than your actual skin color. Now, unlike everyday foundation, um, and concealing. Uh, yung everyday foundation and concealer, yung pagdating sa contouring, hindi naman masyado necessary. Okay? Unless otherwise, no, yung party-party, tapos talagang gusto mo yung uh, alis, nakatapyas yung taba dito, tsaka taba dyan, then sige, go for it. But for everyday use, hindi naman. As a matter of fact, may tip nga dyan eh, pagka hindi kayo marunong mag, shadow mag, ano, contour, Yung bro liner nyo, pwede nyo siyang yun, ilinya nyo dyan and then tap, tap, tap lang para magkaroon kayo ng, ano, ba chicks. Tapos kung yung dito medyo saging or di kaya uh, medyo mataba, then lagyan nyo din dyan ng ating uh, bro pencil or bro powder para lang, ano, para lang uh, ma- ma-hide. So the darker the contouring or the shade, mas mainam kasi you are hiding yung mga unnecessary ano, taba. But yeah, you can and optional. Depende on how you would want to be looking sa ano, non-filtered ano, uh, camera. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that, Miss Cherry. Kasi marami talaga ngayong mga content creators, no? At maraming mga nag-go live either Zoom or StreamYard or other streaming platform. Thank you so much, Miss Fritzi. Oo. Ngayon naman, let's go to, balikan natin mamaya si Cherry, no? Let's go to Miss Malu. Um, merong nag, ano dito, nag-message. Sabi niya, I have very low self-esteem and very shy. How can I overcome these feelings? I think Malu, maraming, I yeah, I think maraming, uh, there are a lot of ladies who, who struggle with this, no? Low self-esteem, very shy. Um, I th- what I think the pinaka importante is to to understand your yung true identity mo kasi pag ang identity natin naka-anchor yan sa what people say or you know yung self-worth mo is anchored on 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 other things then talagang ano yan bababa talaga yung self-worth natin no magiging mahihiyain tayo confidence level natin bababa but when we know who we are in the eyes of God then um Siguro yun yung, yung naka-help sa akin. No? When, when I understood that, uh, that how much God loves me, na kahit pala, uh, let's say, kahit mahiwalay ako sa asawa ko, wala akong partner, pero as long as I'm with the Lord, then I feel confident. So yung, yung mabuboost talaga yung iyong self-confidence, yung iyong self-worth, knowing that there's somebody up there who loves you so much that he was even willing to die for you. Pag yun ang ating identity, 
pag tina- remind natin ang sarili natin ng identity natin sa Panginoon, then you will overcome the shyness, the low self-esteem, low self ano, uh, self-worth. Yan. Kaya pala yung importance ng ano no, when we speak life to other people, lalo na ngayong pandemic ano, kailangan yung talagang uh, we be generous in our praising other pers- people. Kasi ano, na-affirm yung mga tao as we speak life. Kaya sa na speak life yung mga para nawawala na ng ano ng self-confidence na bubuhay, no? Galing. Thank yes, you. Sis. Thank you sis Malu. My question naman po tayo for ano, my question is for Doc Jazz. Doc Jazz, kasi I really don't go out so much. <laughs> Yes. And getting enough sun is a problem for me. Is that bad? And if it's if it's not good, how can I, I know how can I resolve that? Yeah. So uh, the sun is very important, no? Not just for our mood, but also the sun acts on our skin to make vitamin D three. This is a very important vitamin for our health. It's anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. We need it for our bone health. So vitamin D three is very important now. now what you can do is you can go outside your house, kung meron kang garden or roof deck or porch, mga 15 minutes before 8 a.m. or before 8 to 10 a.m. or after 3 o'clock. Ito yung sunlight na very healthy, no? Kasi it's not too high, it's not too burning. You can get 15 minutes of sunlight. It's very good for your mood and also for your skin. And you can get enough vitamin D. However, a lot of Filipinos are really low in vitamin D3. So aside from, uh, you know, mga sources with calcium and fortified with vitamin D3, I would also recommend that you consider taking a supplement no, uh, with vitamin D3 because we're really not getting enough vitamin D3. So yun yung side effect ng wala masyadong sun exposure. No? It's also not good for our mental health pag masyado po tayo nakakulong. So as much as possible, if you can get some fresh air and some sunlight, it would be good. Thank you, Edel. Thank you so much, Doc Jazz. Grabe yung mga sina- yung mga shiner mo kanina. Talagang convicted ako. Sabi ko ganun, Lord, I will improve stewarding this body. Medyo pasaway kasi lalo na yung sleeping before 12 midnight. Sabi ko nga, nocturnal yata ako. I work better at night. So I really have to change that. Nako, baka yun na yung cause ng mga acne ko. Thank you so much, Doc Jazz. Miss Fritzy, you have your next so, question. So, talagang yung vitamin D pala eh, talagang importante yon So, we should get that, no? So, my question is for Miss Cherry. Kasi malapit na ang Christmas, marami na nagtatanong, anong gusto mong regalo? Para tumama, umiksakto yung regalo nila. Ano po bang mga tools ang kailangan ko? Para, kasi nakita ko siya eh, nandito na, nag, nanonood siya. So, para alam niya. What basic tools do I need para dito sa pagme-makeup na to? All right. Ah, no, kahit ang topic ko ngayon is makeup, I would still consider your number one tool that you should have in your makeup closet is the skincare. Kasi kahit anong apply mo ng makeup, kung hindi maganda yung base, which is your skin, baliwala. So, the best cosmetic that you can wear talaga is a smile. Pero as far as my topic is concerned, yan, hindi mawawala ang uh, bra liner and lippy. But above everything, go for skincare. From cleanser to um, moisturizers to uh, sunblock. And above all, yun nga, um, just care for the skin. Yan ang unang-una. And then, consider makeup. Oh, but yeah, can I just share this one? Okay, this is, uh, no, no, I just would like to read this to you. For attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. You see, the beauty of a woman must be seen from, from, it, from her eyes because this is the doorway to her heart, the place where love resides. Oh, diba, nag-poem lang ako kasi... Ayan, ang ganda ng topic. I'm so into it. Na ako na bless ako kay Dr. Jazz at lalo na kay Sis Malu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Cherry. Ang ang dami mo ring na share sa amin and I, I'm sure mal- marami kasi talagang mga na, nasa online ngayon ng meetings. 
And that is very, very helpful how to do the the makeup so quick. And hindi lang basta makeup na you intentionally shared to us na it is just an outer ano, you know, appearance. It re- What really matters is what is in our heart because it reflects on our faces as well. Thank you so much, Miss Cherry. We, I have actually seen some um, live question kanina. I hope na makita ko pa sila. But um, one of the quest- one of the questions is from attorney, ano, it is from Terry. Sabi niya, what foundation to use if you are acidic? Miss Cherry, would you like okay. to answer that? Tip, pag acidic ka, okay, go for lighter shade. Kasi pagka yung kas- uh, katone mo lang yung kukunin mo foundation, i- dalawa lang yan, either magigrayish ang color uh, tone mo or magiging ano ka, uh, maitim. So, gray or, or, or dark shades. So, I'd go for one to two shade lighter. And you would know that pagka bumibili kayo ng foundation, test it on your side. So, dito sa area na to, just apply uh, a strip and then kung ano yung pinaka uh, nagbe-blend at kakulay ng iyong this part. Yan, yung sa tenga, okay? So kung ano yung nagbe-blend diyan na kulay, yun ang pinaka kulay ninyo. Okay. I hope I I I answer I answer the question. I will remember that, Miss Cherry. <laughs> Miss Fritzy, do you have a question po? Actually, maraming ano eh, maraming question kay Miss Cherry ngayon, ano? Kasi siguro sinusulit na nila. So, ano daw ang SPF number ng sunscreen ng tama? Ano ba yan? Doc Just Cherry? Yeah, I'll answer na lang. Uh, thank you so much, no? So, I would just like to tell our audience, if you need a good board-certified dermatologist, you can go to www.pds.org.ph. Those are the... Um, the board certified dermatologist that you can consult you can look for one year area with regards to the sunscreen the spf that's recommended by the um, organizations are spf 45 and above but this is really for talagang outdoor use na let's say 30 minutes na nandun ka talaga nakabilad sa araw because you know we can get a lot of pigmentation living here in the tropics no i would also like to recommend na don't uh, spray too much cologne or perfume near your face Kasi some of these colognes and perfumes have mga chemicals like uh, sun-sensitizing chemicals na nakakaitim lalo ng face, no? So, I would recommend just, you know, spray, if you like cologne and perfume, have your clothes na lang spray. Don't spray it on your skin as much as possible. So, sunscreen, SPF 45 uh, and above, apply it 30 minutes before you go out into the sun. And then, as you are swimming, apply, reapply every hour. And as you are sweating, uh, every two hours, no? But if you're just at home, you know, as Cherry said, there are some functional uh, cosmetics na moisturizer with a light sunscreen, SPF 15 or 25. There are also a lot of foundations out there. I would recommend nga fragrance-free hypoallergenic na meron siyang built-in SPF, like SPF 15 or 25. So, ano naman eh, nag-build up yan. So, kung may moisturizer with an SPF, you have a makeup with an SPF, okay na po yan just for everyday use. Thank you, Adele, Spritz. Thank you, Doc. So, um, Okay. Miss Gritzy? Yes. So, um, Miss Malu, gusto ko naman tanungin si Miss Malu, no? Uh, may nag-comment dito, sabi niya, I have control issues. Um, ngayong pandemic, because magkakasama kami, mas apparent to, and things might not turn out the way I wanted. So sometimes, I can't move on because of control. What do you advise or ano? What can you say about that? Yeah. Thank you for that question. Alam mo, uh, hindi ka naman nag-iisa kasi uh, all of us, we have issues with control. No, We want to do things our way. And um, parang kasi feeling natin we have a standard. Eh, no? Parang pag hindi ganito yung standard, and hindi okay sa akin yan. But uh, we have to understand na there are things in this world that is beyond our control and just look at our lives today we're in a pandemic it's something that we cannot control we want to work we cannot work we, we want to do business it's, it's so hard to do business we want to go out this time makalabas diba so now we are discovering that um that really we have to be able to let go and let god take control of our lives right now Yung mga kaya natin in control okay lang yan kung kaya mo it's within your control but those things that that is not 
within your control. You need to let go. Who are those people? Your husband, your boyfriend, your children, your your loved ones. Wala tayong control sa kanila. We can only tell them in a loving way. But at the end of the day, only God can change them, di ba? And only God can change our circumstances. So again, babalik pa rin tayo sa ating, the basis of our faith. Kailangan tayo magdasal. We have to pray and, and just be able to let go. Kasi nakaka-stress po yan. When you are a very controlling person, it's stressing at magpapapangit po talaga sa atin. Di ba no, mga ladies? <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Sis Malu. Napaka... Napakayaman ng ng wise talk today, no? And we are constrained with time. And we know that, um, of course, Doc Jazz also have her appointment. So I think we're going to have a part two soon for this very topic to answer, of course, questions of um, other uh, other live questions that we have. But before we go, I have uh, one last question. We have, a, we have a live question, Karina, from a, ma- a man, a male. Sabi niya... Um, is this a concern only for uh, of women? Should it also concern men now, this topic? Would you like to answer, Doc Jess, and maybe Miss Cherry and Sis Malu later? Yeah, I'll just say something briefly. No? So for our brothers out there, of course, this is important. We have to keep our skin healthy. So everything we talked about, na yung inner beauty, it applies also to men. No? Yung sleep, yung stress praying, uh, avoiding smoking and alcohol, eating well, exercising, and of course, the peace of Jesus. No? Yun ang pinaka-importante for our brothers in Christ. Also, wash your face, take a bath, sunscreen, and if you want to have anti-aging, you can consult a PDS dermatologist. Madami pa kung pwedeng gawin dyan. No? May mga, uh, there are some non-surgical things to anti-age and also a lot of, cosmeti- uh, lot of cosmeceuticals and med- medicines that we can put on our face to anti-age and reverse yung mga pigmentation. So, go ahead and do that, brothers, no? Kasi, of course, you also want to stay handsome inside and out. So, that's all for me. Yeah. Cherry? Can I just add, can I just add something lang to what uh, Jess said, no? Um, kasi yung, ano, uh, stewarding kasi yan, eh. We are to be stewards of our bodies, no? And I want to share with you na, I struggled this time. I had COVID uh, several weeks ago. And I, I had mga symptoms of GERD. And because of GERD, ang dami kong limitations na pagkain. I couldn't eat oily food. I couldn't eat citrus, spicy, tomatoes. Ang daming bawal, ang daming bawal. But then, you know, Dr. Jess, that's when I think nag-glow yung face ko. When I stopped eating junk food, fried, and, you know, I, I just followed yung mga, yung mga kalangan ko lang, na pwede ko lang kainin. Wow, I just saw the the effects on my skin. You know, I I'm a senior citizen and wow, sabi ko, wow, this is it's good pala. The GERD pala did something good for me because now I'm eating right. So, food talaga is very important. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sis Malu. And thank you so much for our guests. Hindi na natin kaya pang pahabain pa. We've um overtime na overtime, so we would like to ask our, the final encouragement from our speakers. Dr. Jazz, you want to begin, pa? Yes, uh, dear friends, um, Jesus loves you so much, no? And listen to Sister Malu, what she said today is so true. Uh, the peace of Jesus cannot be surpassed sa ganda. So kahit wala tayong Botox and fillers or mga tightening, the peace of Jesus radiates from us because His love, His blessings, His peace is unsurpassed. And the Holy Spirit is with us. So... I encourage you, dear friends, if you have received Jesus today, uh, you know, find a, uh, find a church, find a discipler who will walk alongside you as you grow in faith. This is really the best way to have the fullest life that Jesus promised, life to the fullest. So, dear friends, we can be beautiful inside and out. We don't need makeup. We don't need mga creams to be beautiful inside and out. We only need Jesus. So, I encourage you, dear friends, um, be with Jesus today. He loves you. That's all for me, Adele. Dr. Jess, you want to greet Sis Malu? <laughs> Before you go, Malu, I love you, and we're so grateful for what you have uh, done and what you are sharing today. Also, Cherry, I love you both. Uh, sana may part, you know, I highly encourage. Baka pwede yung Christmas edition. Okay, so we can do that. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much, Doc Jazz. Miss Cherry. Okay. okay. True beauty is reflected in our soul. It is. It is. 
it is the caring that we lovingly give and the passion that we all show. So beauty of a man and a woman, regardless of age, the beauty, sabi nga ni uh, Miss, Miss Malu kanina, it will always start from within. It, it will just really radiate from within. So kahit anong ganda natin from outside, kahit anong makeup ang ilagay mo dyan, kapag hindi maganda talaga ang puso, laging makikita. So, yeah, secret more than the cosmetics, God's grace, and of course, Jesus! Yan lang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, che- Miss Cherry. Talagang marami kami natutunan sa'yo. But, of course, uh, for our final encouragement, Miss Malu? Yeah. Uh, siguro my um, final encouragement is, uh, let's just remind, let's just be mindful that we are stewards of our bodies. You know, our bodies actually belong to the Lord. Binigay niya yan sa atin. So, pangalagaan po natin yan. Not just the face, even the body. You know, everything that we do, even our hearts, whatever comes out of our our mouths, lahat yan, stewardship po yan. No? So, one day we will be accountable to the Lord. Everything that we said, all the gossips that you did, all the slandering, lahat po yan, accountable tayo. No? So, let's start now. If you were, uh, you know, that person before maybe you feel like i was an ugly person an attractive person in the past it's never too late to change make that decision today surrender your life to jesus surrender all your control at ng pangit natin i-confess natin yan and then make a decision to completely turn away turn away from sin if you are in a in a relationship that is not pleasing to god turn away because that will make us ugly also no anything that is displeasing to god will make us ugly so the key really is to have Jesus in our hearts. And if you received him today, then congratulations. This is the start of a beautiful life. So God bless everyone, mga kawaii stalkers. Thank you so much, Thank Sis you. Malu. But before that, before we end all this, meron lang pong mga gusto pang bumati sa inyo. Ba? <laughs> yes. So here it is. Happy, happy birthday. May God continue to bless your life, your plans, and your goals. Thank you for being nice to me. Na, na iyak talaga yung bumati sa iyo eh <laughs> hindi niya nakinaya <laughs> maraming wow. salamat and happy birthday yeah na surprise oh, happy birthday, birthday. So much. i wow, love you na celebration <laughs> wow. hey sorry po nag brown out na naman kami bigla very quick but um miss malu sorry um i just want to share you the videos again from the greetings from um of course, people behind Wise Talk. Hi, Miss Malu. Happy, happy birthday. May God continue to bless your life, your plans, and your goals. Thank you for being nice to me. Thank you for all the learnings. Enjoy your day, po. Happy birthday. Thank you, Gail. Happy, happy, happy birthday. I am beyond blessed knowing and working with you in, in Forerunners. I thank you for all the beauty tips, the health tips, at saka sa pag-mentor sa amin sa Wise Talk. And I just want to honor you. You are a magnetic person. You attract people with your wit, with your beauty, with your smile, with your intelligence. You are very, very articulate. You are full of life and full of love, and you are unique. And I pray that you will always taste and see God's goodness in your life. I bless you with provision, protection, and God's presence always. And thank you for being a good person to every one of us. We love you, Miss Malu. Happy birthday. Amen. Thank Ms. you, Malu, sir. happy, happy birthday. I'm really thankful that you are one of my mentors especially in terms of communication, hosting, confidence. Thank you for believing in me. I am so blessed and you will continue to 
influence more people, not only today, but of course into the kingdom of God locally and internationally. Good health and strength will be upon you and provision. Thank you again. God bless. And see you soon in our Wais Talk. Happy birthday, Miss Malu. Thank you, Jules. Happy birthday, Tita Malu. For honor, it's really blessed to have you. And thank you for your leadership, especially with the Wais Talk. We're learning a lot from you. Thank you for uh, opening doors of opportunities in uh, for runners too. Thank you so much, and we love you. Happy birthday, po! Thank you, Kat. Happy happy birthday. You know, you're such a beautiful, intelligent, and passionate person. And you have given me and the forerunners the opportunity to go out of our shell and, you know, into the world through White Stop. And I thank God for your obedience after the AGA. I thank God that you called me up in the middle of, uh, I think it was early morning. And I so appreciate you for that. For pitching in, you know, your vision, your ideas, for being bold, for being passionate. Thank you so much. Now You have inspired me. You have inspired a lot of people, even the core team and everyone surrounding you. And you're such a blessing to many. Uh, sobrang na bless kami sa chapter. And also, you know, I know that a lot of people uh, are blessed because of your uh, presence. And... I so appreciate you for your ideas and your beautiful manner of drafting questions. It's amazing and it always reminds me, you know, yung how God downloads it to people and you are a reflection of God's light. You are a reflection of God's wisdom and continue to do that. Continue to, you know, stay passionate for the lost souls of this country and continue to be open with God's, you know, vision and uh, mga projects na papagawa niya. God has prepared this even beforehand for you to really share it to the world. Thank you so much again for allowing all of us to be part uh, of that vision. Happy, happy birthday. Enjoy your day. Thank you that our lives crossed. I'm so blessed to be your friend. Happy, happy birthday. Wow, and Malu. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, syempre hindi kami pauhuli. Kami live. So Malu, maraming maraming salamat for all your generosity. And let me say this to you. Malu, you are a beautiful, wonderful daughter to behold. Grabe yung pagpuporsigi mo and yung persistence mo, hindi lang sa ano, hindi lang sa wise to. Yung lahat ng ginagawa mo, grabe, talagang uh, to the highest level ang performance. Miss Cherry, you want to greet Miss Malu? Yeah, I am just so f- grateful for the Lord for blessing me with you. So thank you for having me here. Every time I partner with you, it's just simply amazing. Kasi kahit yung ulit-ulit yung talk mo, when you deliver it, sobrang tagos dito, ramdam na ramdam. Thank you for being a model to me. Thank you for not only modeling to me, but modeling to thousands of women who really needs to hear the, the light of the gospel and the spirit of the gospel. I love you so much. Thank Mom, you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Fritzy and Jerry. Again, happy birthday, Sister Malu. You know that you've done a lot of things. Um, to encourage me to what I am doing right now. And alam nyo yun, alam nyo yun, lahat ng mga, lahat ng mga inspiration na ibigay nyo sa akin at where I am now in the ministry and in the Lord. Ayan. So, sis, uh, Miss Fritzy, can I ask you po to pray for Sis Malu? Yeah. Wait, I'll just say lang thank you. I, I want to say thank you for to all the wise talkers and all the uh, wise talk team. Um, yung ating... Um, Yung ating backstage, si, si Gail, si Joel, si Micah. Of course, our leader, attorney, si Kat, um, Cez, and uh, who else did I miss anyone? Of course, all the hosts, si Ronnie. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I, I don't think I deserve all those praises. I give all the glory to the Lord. Siya naman yung nagpapabago sa atin. No? 
So yun yung encouragement ko for, para sa ating mga kawaii stalker watching. It is the Lord who deserves all the credit and we can be changed if we have Jesus. Amen and amen. Miss Ritzy? Let me pray for you, Malu. Lord, I just um, ask, Lord God, for your presence, Lord. Overwhelm Malu with the love, Lord, that you have for her. Father, would you wrap around your arms and just continue to pour out your blessings and peace. Lord, in every area of her body, mind, and spirit. Lord, would you continue to bless her blossom, make her blossom in the season of spring. For some, she might not be a spring chicken anymore, but Lord, say, oh, grabe, parang bata pa siya, parang 18 years old lang. So Lord, I just thank you, Lord God. And Lord, let me bless her with a mother's blessing. Malu, I am proud of you, of what you have become and what you are becoming because you know who your father is. And manang mana ka sa tatay mo. So Lord, we just thank you, Lord God, and ask, Lord God, that you seal this blessing, Lord, in the heart of Malu. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so and much amen. for the prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Grazie. you, Miss Malu. Thank you, um, Miss Cherry, of course. And yes. thank you, Miss Fritzy. Congratulations on your debut, hosting debut here at Wise Talk. Yeah. Ayan, maraming maraming. Maraming salamat. I think I forgot to mention, Edel, si JR, ang ating din bagong uh, co-host din. JR, welcome also to Wise Talk. Welcome, Fritzy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you again to all um, who, part, who, who are with us um, for this webcast. We would like to say hello and goodbye to Maricel, Ijoj, Christine Joy, Micah, Marilyn, Angie, Tidora, Stephen. Hi, Sis Joy Benitez. And of course, we have Andy Pabuela, Cha Ramos, Janet Enrique, and of course, uh, oh, there's Cloud9 and Miss Cess Hernandez. Ayan, natatapos na naman ng isa pang episode ng Wa Is Talk. And thank you for joining us. Sana marami po kayong napulot na kaalaman from our Wa Is Talkers na mga speakers. I'm Edel Kutukova, ang inyong Wa Is Talker. We had a very good discussion today and I'm truly blessed to be by your beauty tips, Doc Jazz. Miss Cherry, and of course, Sister Malu. I'm Edel Kutukova, ang inyong Kawaii Stalker. Thank you, mga Kawaii Stalkers, for joining us. If you want a copy of Malu's books, ikaw nang maganda, books 1, 2, and 3. You may order them through online at Lazada, Shopee, OMF Bookstores, and PCBS. If you enjoyed our episodes today, panoorin niyo po yung iba naming mga episodes at siguradong marami rin kayong mapupulot na aral, wisdom at kaalaman. Ikaw na ang maganda, mga kawaii stalkers. I'm Fritzy Uichauco and we are the, the Four Runners. Yes. Bye! Bye! Bye.